Congratulations, your highness. Meet your new son. No! Not again! I will end this wretched curse, no matter what the cost. Yes, show her to me. Reveal the maiden with the purest soul. Richard, look at all of these proposal letters from Count Bluebeard. You've heard the rumors about him, haven't you? I've tried ignoring him, but they just keep coming. My love, do not worry. Once we're married, those letters will stop. I promise. Good morning, Rachel. Since you never answered my letters, I have come in person to ask you. Don't you wish to live as a wealthy countess? Or do you wish to spend your days slaving for some measly commoner? Rachel is not interested. Please leave. What impudence. I have come for my bride. If you stand in my way, I'll have your head as well as your sharp tongue. I'll be waiting outside. Do not tarry, Rachel. Bluebeard has taken Rachel to the castle. I pray you'll find a safe way inside. You're her last hope. Your bride was taken by the Count, right? Don't worry. Aunt Grace is here to help. I know you've heard the rumors, but do you know Bluebeard's secret? Well, I do. Bluebeard is cursed. Although he has married many times, his wives have all birthed monsters. He believes Rachel will be the one to bear him a normal child. I used to work at Bluebeard's castle, so I know a secret way in. I'll introduce you to a friend of mine. You're brave, aren't you? Good. First, you must create a special potion with your own hands. This is the recipe. One of the ingredients is in the cemetery nearby.
Excellent. I'll deliver this right now. Wait here. Do not fear, Rachel. This is Ethan, my son. Ethan, oh, I told you not to come here. If Bluebeard sees you, Lord only knows what he may do. Mother, I know the risks, but I can't let Rachel repeat our story. Rachel, I've met Richard. He's trying to find you, but he needs your help. If you can make it out to the garden, he's waiting by the old gates. He asked me to give this to you. Oh, Tom, don't be silly. You're not going anywhere. You seem upset. This should calm you down. where Bluebeard experiments with dark magic. My son Nigel is in there, and they've drained so much blood that he can barely move. Please, you must help him. Rachel, you're asleep. This world is not real. You're in a dream. Please, you must wake up. Thank you. My son wasn't always like this. Alistair was a good boy until I left him. I wish I could change the past so none of this happened. Here, take his favorite train. It meant so much to him. The dispute between Bluebeard and his aunt started when she tried to sell her estate. He killed her to inherit it. As she died, Bluebeard's aunt cursed him. Since then, the powerful curse has loomed over his estate. All his children are born monsters. Bluebeard's last resort was black magic. He signed a magic contract using the blood of his own children. Since signing this contract, only this mixed blood can destroy his dark magic spells. How precious! You can overcome any obstacle together. Pah! I shall decimate your ridiculous romantic fantasy. No, let me go! Now that the curse is lifted, our children can live normal lives, and the other wives and I can rest. 
I wish you both all the best. Farewell. you in your search. And be careful, Ethan. My brother is cunning, and he will do anything to get what he wants. Immortal. A man's life is far too short. To live longer, I absorb people's souls. Once I'm finished, your son's years will be mine, and you shall witness it. I'll get you for this, Ethan! 